FTX rabbit hole keeps getting deeper and deeper. Make sure to watch until the end because this information is absolutely titillating. And again, one plus one definitely equals two in this particular situation. We all know that inflation is transitory and the USA is not in recession and we don't have severe high levels of debt. Our public servants seem to be focusing on other areas instead of addressing the current issue of mismanagement of our taxpayer dollars. Remember, 95% of government money comes from taxpayer dollars. Anyways, Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders are spending more time focusing on the negative aspects of crypto instead of the pressing American issues, debt. I can understand due to the FTX fraud case being shown everywhere, which ultimately makes crypto look bad. But what if I told you Liz Warren was associated with FTX? More importantly, Sam Bankman Freed's daddy, Joseph Bankman Freed. Joseph Bankman endorsed a tax-related bill for Senator Warren back in 2016. Joseph Bankman is also an attorney and a clinical psychologist and directly from the Standard website where he taught, written on how insights from social psychology might be used in effort to reduce tax evasion. This is his wheelhouse and it's not related at all, right? Now let's go ahead and discuss the predatory proposed crypto tax reporting requirements. Liz Warren, Bernie Sanders, and five other senators want the IRS to expedite. They want them to expedite crypto tax reporting requirements, and this is currently slated for 2026. The rules aim to hold crypto brokers accountable for tax reporting so they have more information about you and your personal business. It's estimated that the two-year delay can cost up to $50 billion annual tax revenue loss and continue to allow for bad actors in crypto to avoid paying taxes, just like you, Miss Warren, right, and the rest of your friends. It also warns it leaves room for tax evasion to continue in crypto. And again, they are concerned that the delay can give the crypto industry more time to undermine the regulations and again tax evasion which the elites and public servants try to fight practices. They said the time is to act now and public comment is open until October 30th. Our good friend Patrick McHenry described the rules as an attack on the digital asset ecosystem. As you know, he claims to be pro crypto, but at the same time, a public servant is a public servant. So let's see what he brings to the table. Anyways, the reason why I'm bringing Warren and SBF's daddy into this is I believe the FTX collapse was done intentionally. One last question I will leave you with is, $50 billion over two years, estimate Warren makes, is pushing the issue for the IRS crypto tax reform. As of today, in 2023, the USA is currently creating approximately $1.2 billion of debt per hour, per hour. $50 billion over two years is only approximately $68 million daily, while the USA debt increases $24 billion per day. Therefore, why are crypto taxes a pressing issue when we don't even have clear guidelines from the SEC on how to classify crypto? Is crypto a commodity? Is it a security? Neither. Who knows? Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, set alerts. Bye-bye.